Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Hillside Sample Project that was released, I believe, a couple of days ago. Now, if you want to check this out, go to the Marketplace right now and just type in Hillside Sample. It is free for educational use only. And basically, what we're going to do right now is just explore this project. If you want to download the EXE instead of the actual project itself, because it's pretty big, it's like 60 gigs, you can also click on like learn more right here in documentation. You can actually just download an executable if you want to. But for us right now, I'm actually going to be in the editor, kind of just looking around and whatnot. But um, yeah, this is the exterior right now that we're in, which is pretty interesting. So I believe the project itself is not necessarily like a gameplay type-ish. It's more like a cinematic. They put a bunch of cameras and sequencers and I think they rendered some of that in path tracing. But yeah, here we are. It looks pretty nice. This is probably... The second biggest project Epic has ever let us download. Besides, um, the other one that I can only think of is the actual Matrix example. So this is the exterior. And this is pretty big. This is massive. And I believe part of this is uh, photo scan geometry. So I went ahead and placed our superhero here that I did whenever the Unreal Engine 5 first came out. And I'm just going to press play. Now, for some reason, the ground doesn't have any collision. I'm not sure if they disabled the collision or it's just bugged. But yeah, as you can see here, I'm going to kind of fall down the floor. But that's okay because what I'm going to do is actually fly around this thing. I believe it looks better anyway when we're flying around. But this environment right here, this, this architecture, I'm not really an you know, architect, whatever. But I, I just appreciate like hard work. You know, like they spent quite a bit of time in here now we are running this on the rtx 4090 in just pi mode here um but this place is massive i didn't actually look anything up and because i just want to really just explore this that's really nice trees right here and what's cool about this is since this is available for us as like for educational use you can go in here, you know, put some metahumans, do some lighting, some videography stuff, some cinematography stuff. I mean, look at these water. Look at this water shader. Oh my goodness. All right, we kind of went through this. That looks fantastic. Starting to really, really get there. And the entire thing is nanite. So I'll, I'll show you that in a second. We got some cars right here. Some parked ones. I think these are from the Matrix demo. Yeah, I recognize that car. That's vehicle six right there. So that's kind of cool. Have a cinema here. This is cool. At least the trees have collisions. Yeah, they do. If I had to guess, I'd probably use mega scans because that's pretty high quality there. Oh my goodness, this is just look at this thing. Beautiful. Now, what's interesting about this is, like, in Unreal Engine 5, like, if you're looking at those, the city back there, you know, let's take a look at that. I'm really just curious to know... Wow, that's kind of cool. That could be, like, a level, like, a map for, like, a Fortnite or something like that. It looks really cool. Um, but, you know, I'm just kind of curious because I've played games before, like, in the past, you know, and, and sometimes these backdrops are just really just images or HDRI or skyboxes. But... Um, you know, with Unreal Engine 5, with the Matrix demo, when I did this same exact one, whenever it first came out, April 5th, I was like, wait, wait a minute. These, these are all geometry. They aren't just pictures. And it seems like it's the same here. Maybe they are using some of that city sample from the Matrix again, which is really cool because whenever you play games, you look, you look off in a distance. Usually those are just, whatever you see in a backdrop are usually just pictures. But, you know, in, in here, since everything is nanited, yeah, I can, even though people are not really going to go this far over here right now, it's still here. <laughs> Look at this. These are legit, like, actual buildings. I mean, obviously, they're kind of just like backdrop buildings, but they're still geometry, right? That's cool, man. This, is, this thing is massive. You know, I wonder how long... What the heck is that? I just saw something here in the distance. And again, I'm pretty sure they're using world partition here. Because this is pretty big. There's like... 
this place is huge. And over here, you, you're starting to kind of notice, I believe, whenever you're starting to see that little murky, milky quality, those are usually photo scan, like photogrammetry from like, uh, you know, like a satellite or something like that, or videography, you'll see it. But these right here are still very much so like actual static meshes. They aren't like photogrammetry yet because yeah, they're still pretty clean. Well, I just saw like a, it's not like a plane or something. Oh, it's it's like a tower, I guess. This is insane. And and you know what's, I'm kind of curious just to know if they're using cesium for this or they use cesium for the actual, you know, this right here, you see the tiles? Because cesium, the plugin, I know some of y'all are wondering about that. <clears throat> I'm making a video on it whenever 5.2 came out. Uh, whenever the actual plugin gets updated to 5.2, because right now it's only 5.1. Cesium came out like two years ago. Um, but again, the problem is, you know, the mesh, whenever you get up close, it doesn't look good. But recently, Google released their API. So we can now use Google's data uh, with cesium in Unreal Engine 5. Again, whenever 5.2 comes out, I will make that video. But for now, we're just kind of playing around with this. Uh, that's really far. I don't think I'm going to be able to fly um, that much right there. But look, just look how massive this is. And and what I'll do is I'll go check out some of the photogrammetry because I'm pretty sure that hill right there looks a little bit suspicious. That's probably uh, photogrammetry there. Now, whenever you open a project, it might not look like this because I did change the lighting a little bit. I believe I'm using the nighttime scene. Uh, you can change it and play around with it if you want. But yeah, I think they took some of the Matrix City sample and kind of just put it in here in the cars as well, which is it's pretty cool too. But yeah, let's, let's see this right here. They even have houses. That's crazy. <laughs> it's like, if you think about it, it's like, who's going to go all the way back here when the main stuff's back there? That's why it's it's pretty amazing, man. It, it's cool, at least for me. I don't know about y'all. You have some houses right here, some buildings. This is so far away from, like, the main area that they want you to focus on, but they still have stuff there, you know? So it's never going to look flat. Some random church. This is so cool. Easily get lost in this place. And people are saying we're not in a simulation, right? Very cool. Like I'm flying here like super fast and it's it's not even moving because it's so massive. We even have a bridge over there. This is so cool, man. Alright, so let's go on the opposite side now. And again, I'm just playing around with it in here. Similar to, you know, the Matrix sample when it first came out. Oh, wow. Look at that water. We get a little bit of pop in there. With the tree reflections. But the water looks fantastic. Probably high quality translucency. I've seen those reflections. They're pretty high quality now. So we got this little, what is this? Farine Five Roses Hotel, I guess that's a hotel. So yeah, I think the main focus is this kind of area right here. This is pretty cool. Now I'm going to turn on some cars. So we have a little bit of traffic. Now, they do have a couple of levels in here that you can mess around with, and they do have a vehicle one, so I'll just change this to always loaded. And uh, let's see how that works. I'm not sure how much this is going to kill my FPS, but I guess we're about to find out. It's loading. All right, so I fell down, and we'll just go up and fly up. So we now have cars, a little bit of traffic in here, which is pretty cool. I really like this like sunset effect or lighting. Oh wow. That car is driving right on the line. I need to pull this person over. 
Hey, where's your license? Did you take your driver's course online? You're cutting it a little bit too close to that line. Oh, okay. So it's it's an automated car. There's really no driver, so that's why. That's fine. You can thank Elon Musk for that. Wow, this water. That's cool. We got some... Ah, that's so cool. I, I It's totally skipping my mind, but I forgot what it's called. The reflections whenever it hit the water and stuff. Wow, yeah, I totally forgot. I'm blanking out right now. But, wow, this is so cool. It's like a it's like a city simulator almost. Can you imagine what the new Sims is going to look like if they like go with Unreal Engine 6? I mean, that game's like overdue. They need to like update it. <laughs> Jeez, this is so freaking cool. And yeah, one of the cool things about Unreal Engine is that it's just not an engine anymore. You know, if you're if you're into architecture, if you're an engineer and you're trying to showcase, say, like a neighborhood that you're trying to create, use Unreal Engine. It's perfect for this. All the technology that they have, they showcased in this sample project. And that is why it is so critical and important for people to learn Unreal right now, because it's gonna rule, I would say, for the next 10 to 20 years. It's pretty incredible. I just do feel bad for people who are in college right now learning something else. But then again, you can always just apply what you learn in school or college into Unreal and you'll be okay. Although I am seeing, seeing a lot more people, you know, for coming from like Cinema 4D and such and Blender, uh, starting to mess around with Unreal as well, which is cool. I really like this water. Let's check out this bridge, and um, I'm probably going to stop this video here because it's a little bit too long. Um, if you want me to, I can explore it a little bit more, but this is really, really cool. Now, unfortunately, it is educational purpose only, so you probably can't make any short films in here. Um, oh, wow, they even have a little uh, carnival area and some boats. Do I have collision on the boat? Yeah, it looks like. I tried um, enabling the collision for all the mesh, but... I would have to do it like one by one. But yeah, this one, that, that one's good. We got a little bit of carousel right here. Very nice. Everything is, look at this. This is like a movie set. Let's go over here. We have a little, I see a little dome over there. So let's go check that out before I turn this off. This is, this is insane, man. This is massive. This is, this place is huge, Jackman, bro crazy crazy that's really cool that little globe area they have let's see if I have a collision set up for it or can I just go through yes I can just go through this is cool wow well done whoever worked on it I wonder how many people worked on this and how long a lot of cool stuff. I'm kind of curious now. I wonder if that's just not loading. I just didn't do it right, or it's really just like that. Hmm. Let me know in the comments below if you think that title right there or the ground is supposed to look like that, or something just didn't load up. Because I am missing some on my level, as you saw. Some of them are turned off, probably because of performance-wise. That is beautiful right there. Look at that shot right there. Look at that cityscape. Very cool. All right, so before I go, let's see if I can run this in um, cinematic settings because that was, uh, I believe, uh, high. Yeah, let's see if we can run it in cinematics and see what it looks like. Uh, this is running 4K with one RTX 4090. So let's see if we get a crash. If we get a crash, that's the end of the video. If not, let's see how much FPS we can get. All right, so it looks like we're getting 25 frames per second. And this looks absolutely insane. And again, what's cool about this is whenever DLSS 3 frame generation comes to Unreal Engine 5.2, I'm going to try this again, because right now I'm running 23, 25 frames per second, but this looks just phenomenal. Wow. This is gorgeous. I, I, honestly, even though I'm gonna stop the video here shortly, I'm just gonna go fly around here to see if I can like, 
see more pretty stuff because this is just this is gorge fly around i mean that 4090s trying to his it's hanging in there this is look at, look at this that is like the future of neighborhoods right there that looks cool i would live in a place like that although it looks a little bit thin um but yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you all think about the Hillside Sample Project? Again, if you want to play around with it yourself, go ahead and download it. It's for the free, for educational purposes only. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.